You are the first lady. Your job is to plant gardens and decorate rooms and let them blog about your clothes. You're ornamental, not functional. So don't come into the Oval and try to use your brain because no one cares. You always did know just the right way to hurt me. I am talking about Olivia Pope. You took her hunting? Really, honey? She could be facing federal prison, but you needed to spend a few minutes with your girlfriend. That's, it's sweet. If it didn't mean the end of your political career, because you won't make it to a second term, I will make sure of it, because I need to make some plans for my political future. And I do have a bright, bright political future. The sweet lawyer who gave up her career for her husband, suffered a miscarriage, then had a late in life baby while first lady. That's gold. That's a future president. That's a hell of a second act. And America loves a second act. Melly. Get over her. Melly. Get over her! You see her again, I'll blow you away. And I'm an excellent shot, remember. Six, Millie, like everything is not a political move. Honey, you are not some toothless mechanic from Indiana, and I am not some chunky girl from a trailer park. We didn't fall in love and get drunk and do it in the back of a pickup truck. This baby, bless its heart, is not ours. This baby is our patriotic duty. This baby was conceived in service to our country. This is America's baby. And Kimberly Mitchell is coming to watch us find out whether it's a boy or a girl because you are the leader of the free world. You couldn't keep your pants zipped and your hands to yourself. This baby is my way of giving you a little political bang for your buck. So tell me, do you like the red or do you like the yellow? Fitzgerald! <sighs> There are nine other bedrooms in this place besides our room and this nursery. You are sweating up the baby's sofa. I will have to have it cleaned. If I sleep in one of the other bedrooms, the staff will know. So then they'll know. Millie, if the staff knows, then the press will know in under 24 hours. Good for them. Really? You're fine with the press knowing that we don't sleep in the same bed? Tell the press that pregnancy is making me toss and turn, so you're sleeping in another bed so that I can be more comfortable. Tell them that you have been staying up late in bed, trying to come up with new ways to keep America safe and democratic and free, and you don't want to disturb my pretty little head with all that thinking. Or tell them that I don't want to spend my night sleeping next to a man who gets erections in his sleep, dreaming of Olivia Pope. Your choice. I don't care. <sighs> Relax, I'm kidding. For now. What happened to my husband? Man? Who did he talk to? What put Fitz in such a terrible mood? Because when he left me to go hunting, he was smiling, and when he came home, he wasn't. I'm sure we don't know, ma'am. You can't say. I understand. So, I am just going to say some things, and when I am correct, I'd like one of you to blink. That's all. Just flutter your eyelashes for a girl. Ma'am. The president of France, East Sudan, Hollis Doyle, that guy on Fox News, his mother, Cyrus, Olivia Pope. Oh, I have something of yours. The Secret Service found it. You know how, right? He's on POTUS detail. He found it the night the president went to the National Archives to view the Constitution, which surprised me because if he'd gone to the National Archives to view the original Constitution of the United States, he would have invited his wife, but... Hal said you were there, so. Really, I, I, we all want the same thing. You and me, Cyrus, we are a team. We got him in the White House, and we are going to keep him here. We are doing our patriotic duty, serving our country, working for the greater good. We just go about it differently, I suppose. Like? It's like you didn't know him at all. You thought the two of you were partners. You thought the problems in your marriage were solvable. You thought, for better or worse, meant something. You thought no matter what, he'd be faithful. 
Fancy, right now you are angry. <laughs> right now you feel betrayed. But here's the thing. You are his partner. You are his wife. So, mistress doesn't change that. You made a mistake. You have to forgive him for it. You weren't wrong about him. You were just stronger than he was. And he is not a monster. <laughs> He's the man you fell in love with. You have to bury the man that you married. <laughs> Somewhere in all the cheating, Nancy is the man that you married. And you are his wife. I don't know. Skip this whole thing and went home. Is it the baby? You feeling okay? I feel fine. I just... What's the problem? I just don't want to go. I'm sick of smiling. I'm sick of acting like we're happy. I just don't want to go. Is it because she's going to be there, Olivia? She got cleared by security an hour ago, which I'm sure you know. Now suddenly you forced me to have this big party and you don't want to go because you're afraid of my mistress? Let me give you a fun fact. She's not my mistress anymore. So buck up. You're one. Let's not go. I don't want to go. I feel... I don't want to go. We can't always get what we want, can we?